Hello, welcome back to my channel. It's me, Maggie. Today we're going to be doing a look inspired by my dress that I got from Target. So a little mustard lilac moment. First, we're going with the Beauty Crop Base Eye Primer. I got this in my September Boxy Charm, so it's always fun to try out new things. First, we're going in with the Anastasia Beverly Hills Palette, the Riviera one. My friend Chelsea got this for me for my birthday. And for that mustard moment, we're going to go in with the shade Cabana. And we're going to blend that into the crease. And just keep building it up until it's that perfect mustard tone. I've been really wanting to do a mustard lilac eye and I'm so glad I did because I feel like it was a really fun combo especially ever since I got this dress um, it's from Target I'm trying to remember the designers name but I'll pop it here up on the screen but this is like the dress that screams me it's puff sleeves it's very retro inspired I'm obsessed but I hope you're all having a nice fall I'm really sad that Halloween is over but it's always spooky season in my heart did you guys dress up for Halloween I did and I dressed up as Glenda the Good Witch and then I uh, dressed up as Elaine from the movie The Love Witch. I actually did a tutorial on my channel I think a year ago on this so I'll pop it in the cards. We're going in with the All Force Sight Raw Beauty Christy Colourpop collection and we're going to take that shade Rainier which is like a nice red toned brown. In the dress there is like a red toned brown like going through the dress so I thought that would help tie it in a little bit more and deepen the crease. Very fall toned eyes I would say. But then the pastel moment is very spring and it's definitely a fun combo. Just blending that eye look a little bit out to make sure it's all nice and blended. You could stop there and you could just add a shimmer on the eye but I'm going to go in with this BH Cosmetics Pressed Pigment Palette, Pastels Palette and we're taking that lilac shade Daydream and placing that all onto the inner um, eyelid and into the inner corner crease and kind of blending it down towards my outer eye on the bottom lash line just to make my eyes look really nice and pop uh, bright and poppy then we also do go back in with some of that shade from the Anastasia with Cabana and the one from the Raw Beauty Christie one and Chantel Real I think that's a mushroom name I don't know, but it's like a nice, another nice yellow mustard color. Just to keep adding in that mustard tone so it doesn't get faded away. And yeah, this is just one of those looks that you have to keep adding the color here and there if you're like blending it out. But I really enjoyed this combo and I'm definitely going to do it again. An experiment with more different kind of tones. It add a little bit of the shade Inheritance from that Anastasia palette in the crease just to add a little bit of a gold shimmer to that mustard color. And I did clean up the outer crease a little bit going in with the ColourPop for Shock eyeshadow in the shade Castle. Just like a really intense silver glitter. You could skip this step. I do add it but then I do go ahead and add some more of that pastel purple over it so it isn't as intense but it still has that little hint of sparkle to the eye. To complete the eye look, we're going in with the Hard Candy Waterproof Felt Tip Eyeliner in this nice dark brown shade. It's definitely waterproof and it doesn't transfer, which is a nice option because I did a video on that and I wanted to try more brown eyeliners and it has a nice warm tone to it. I must say, you will see here when I'm applying it, it's a little streaky. I did have to let it dry and then reapply over top so that it would be full pigment and not streaky. So maybe it was just like a user error, but just keep that noted. I think the video I did about brown eyeliners, there's better ones out there, but this is a nice option if you want to save some money. But yeah, you can see right there, it's streaky and I was not impressed. But once I reapplied it, it was all good. And I, because I wanted to try this other hard candy eyeliner, I got the Stroke of Gorgeous Color Liquid Eyeliner, and it's a metallic eyeliner. So it has some sparkle to it. They had a few different colors. There's a dark green one I really want to try. Um, but I got the brown, bronzy one, and you can see it there. It has some shimmer to it, and I wanted to apply that over top and see how it is. Uh, I need a new another video next time trying it by itself. But this is a fun way to add some more sparkle to your eyeliner. And I was pretty impressed with this. If you're going to go for one of them, I'd go for this one over the other one. Just because I love how sparkly and full pigment it is. And it also didn't transfer, so that's a plus. Going in with the Half Cake Makeup 
totally tubular the heights mascara to give some length and volume to my lashes this is actually running out so i have used most of it and hot cake is definitely an underrated brand go in with that mustard tone again from whatever palette you want to use to add some more of that warmth in and then i add in my favorite kiss you do you lash drip collection lashes we're gonna do a simple little brow here and just use the elf brow lift gel and fluff them to the gods i do fill them in later a little bit with my elf pencil but i don't show you because i feel like that's boring we're going in with my favorite primer the number seven airbrush away tinted skin perfector in light i've been breaking out like no other for some reason um and this primer is really saving the day it helps cover up any of that scarring or the redness from the zits it's really a lifesaver primer and it really flawlessly airbrushes that skin out we're going into the revlon photo ready candid glow foundation another little underrated foundation from the drugstore it never looks cakey but it also doesn't look too like makeupy if you know what i mean and it wears well on my nose which is a nice pro because i feel like i know i'm not the only one that struggles with like foundation like setting weird on my nose and it really wears well through the day by the end of the day i don't look like a grease pan which is nice it just looks like nice makeup we're going in with the rem beauty sweetener concealer and light 5w one of my favorite concealers right now i kind of wish it wasn't in a pot but i can use this as foundation or concealer a lot of days we're going in with this undone beauty 270 raspberry water tint blush it looks really dark in the tube they also have bronzers that are, i would like to try but it feels like one of those like cooling under eye sticks it's a very bizarre feeling but i like it um and it's just like a nice bright kind of raspberry tone that i thought would go well with this look and i loved how it looked on my skin it just looked like I was flushed. It didn't look like makeup, which I loved that about the product. It's probably because it's that kind of balmy formula. Going in with that Laura Mercier Translucent Setting Powder Mini I got for my birthday and setting down the face. And then we're going to bronze up the face with one of my favorite bronzers. Just a contour shape and add some more life back to my skin. Since the days are getting colder and darker, darker faster, which is quite unfortunate. It actually snowed the other day and it was before Halloween. I'll insert the clip right here of Derek cleaning off my car. We were truly shocked. We knew it was going to snow, but I didn't think it was going to actually stick. I mean, he was like, <laughs> love his face he made in that. Um, we're going in with the Makeup Forever Artist Color Pencil in Wherever Walnut 606 my favorite lip liner right now. I still need to find a dupe for it because I refuse to spend $20 on a lip liner ever again. Going in with the Revlon, the Rum Raisin, and it's the new Revlon Super Lustrous Shine Lipstick. Super glossy, super high shine. It's definitely going to transfer, just so you know, but it was it's like a fun fall lippy. Um, and I think it paired well with that lip liner. But I think it turned out really cute. I even got a compliment on it when I was at work. And it's fun to try different colors together, especially colors you wouldn't think to pair together. Um, but don't forget to like, subscribe, and comment below. And have a good rest of your day. Bye!